In this video, we're going to calculate if you had a higher standing or higher rank um, with your score of 78 in either your English class or your history class. So over here on this side, we're going to be looking at English first, right? So in the English class, the average score was 70, right? So the, the mu was 70, with a standard deviation of 4. Your score was 78. The exact same score you earned in your history class. But in your history class, right, so you have 78 here also. In your history class, the mu was 68, with a standard deviation of 15, so a much greater um, standard deviation. So we're going to try to find out in which class would you have a higher standing or a higher rank, or in which class would your professor say, wow, you really did, you know, really, really well. Okay, so let's do, um, so the equation we're going to be using is this one right here, right? So our Z equation. Um, so let's start with English, right? So our X, our raw score, 78, because again, we scored 78 in both English and history, minus the mu of 70, right? Because that was the average score for the English class, divided by a square or a standard deviation of 4, Right, so eight divided by four, you have a Z score of positive 2.00, meaning you were two standard deviations above the mean in that class. Or if um, this is the standard deviation or the normal curve, right? Here's the the mu. You are um, one two standard deviations above the mean, right? So you did excellent in that class. Let's see how you did in history. So again, using the exact same score, 78, that's your raw score, minus 65 this time because it's the um, average was a little bit lower in your history class, and then standard deviation of 15, right? So we go um, 78 minus 65, so 13 divided by 15, right? So our z-score for this one is actually still positive, but it's 0 0.87, right? So our normal distribution we have right here. We have our mu right here. Here is um, 1, right, because this was 1 and 2, and this is 2 right here. You are not quite one standard deviation um, above the mean. Still above the mean, so still above average, but if you were to, um, if I was to run into your English teacher or, or your history teacher in the in the hallway and I say, how are they doing in class? Your English teacher would go gaga over you. She'd be like, wow, she is doing amazing, right? Or he's doing just absolutely fantastic. He's two standard deviations above the mean, which again, we know that would put you in the top 2% of people in that class, right? Wow, that's really, really good, right? Because only this amount of people beat you, and you beat um, this amount of people, right? So awesome. Now, um, same thing over here in history. I run into your history faculty professor in, in the faculty lounge, and they say, I say, how is, how is that person doing? And they say, he is doing, you know, really good. He's above the, above the average. Um, not too far above, but, but above average, because again, for our history grade, you're right about here, right? So, um, this many people you beat, so good job. But look how much bigger people beat you, right? So you're um, not quite your standing or your ranking is not as high technically in your history class as it would be in your English class.